Who was I to think that I could oppose God? When they heard this, they had no further objections and praised God, saying, So then, God has granted even the Gentiles repentance unto life. The 24 hour prayer is amazing, it's incredible about how many wonderful experiences we have and the people that come in. People come in and say, I'm just gonna spend five minutes and they leave three hours later because they just don't realize where the time has gone because that's the power of prayer. Hello, I'm Jenny Pathmaraja. I'm the Methodist minister here in the beautiful, windy and blustery village of St Oban. This is a very daft question to ask a reverend but how important is prayer? It's the very very crux of our being, it's the, it's the bread and butter of what we do as Christians so to have a time of 24 hour prayer just before the dawn of Advent leading up to Christmas we thought it was a great time to give people an opportunity to just still their hearts, prepare themselves and give a bit of me time in their Christian lives when there's going to be a lot of me time <laughs> over Christmas. Give us grace to heed their warnings and forsake our sins that we may greet with joy the coming of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. And it's sort of open for everyone, isn't it, today? Absolutely, you don't need to be a Methodist, you don't need to be a Christian, you just simply need to have a few questions, want to know a little bit more and uh, an open and willing heart. And the way that we set it up here is every single hour on the hour, uh, we have a reading from the Book of Acts and we say a little prayer and there's an activity based every single hour so there is something to do it's not just sitting here in silence I, I, I couldn't bear that so where's this idea come from and, and why are you doing it 24 hour prayer is a long-standing tradition within the church there's somewhere in the great book of Philippians please don't ask me to quote it and if there is a good Christian listening do call in and let us know where it is from <laughs> where it says pray without ceasing and that's what we're meant to do as Christians and from time to time we take it literally into the heart and take a time out of our lives and say I'm dedicating this amount of time to God and I'm going to see what God does in my life right now. This is definitely a marathon not a sprint we're sort of about the halfway mark how are you feeling cramping up at all? Oh I'm good to go it's good to go um, we've got a great team here we've got we've got some pizza coming out of the oven I can smell it now I'm very very hungry uh, we've got tea and coffee on the go we've got a chocolate which is always a great <laughs> inspiration to help people when they're flagging a little bit but yeah it's, it's good and when we did this two years ago, pre-pandemic, we found that it was between the hours of one and six, which is when the Holy Spirit really started to move and some incredible, amazing things happened. So, Lord, if you're listening, and I know you are, I've got high hopes. I'm here with Helen Cook and it's the wee hours of the morning and Helen you've done the night shift you've been here since oh just after 2 a.m. <laughs> you're still here you've got I a am. cup of coffee in your hand yes I've held off we did a very weak cup of coffee at about 3 30 um, and I decided to wait till about now <laughs> to have a proper coffee but we'll see tell us what happened during the night well I've just listened to an amazing tale told me by somebody that I've known for years in the church about their childhood and I knew nothing about it. <laughs> One of those discussions that you just have when you have the time and the space to do it, um, which has been such an eye-opener. For anyone who's thinking, I, I just still don't understand why someone would do this. <laughs> Particularly, why would you come up at 2am to come and pray? What would you say to them? When you really want some space and some quiet, when you really need to, to know that there isn't nothing that's going to get in the way, um, the phone won't be going off, 
the um, attraction of the TV or all the normal things that just suddenly get in the way of spending time quietly with God, um, just spending time quietly on your own. We don't have time like that in our lives. The only time that we can is the time we're normally asleep. Get some space and time by just not sleeping. <laughs> Sacrifice the sleep. For the lives of kingdom, uh, and